Welcome to my channel, Jackie with a Q. YouTube family, how everybody doing? Um, hope you're making it happen for yourself. Right? Listen, I had to talk about something because I'm finding out more. The more I see it and read up on it, the more I'm finding out. And what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the picture with most death. One of my uh, popular conscious rappers from the 90s, right? Most Def had on a skirt. Now, all I saw, I ain't going to lie to you, was the skirt. I'm like, whoa, what's happening here? Hold on. What's going on? Right? The skirt. Okay? Now, I condemned the man before I did further investigation just because I'm tired of seeing heterosexual men being portrayed as something other than that, right? I know the fashion industry is pushing, pushing this androgynous look on a lot of our famous, popular black men. I don't like that, right? So that's the bag I was coming out of. Like, I'm sick of y'all doing our black men like this. Now, of course, they grow and they can wear what they want to wear and do what they want to do. Or somebody can pay you to do that, right? Well, after further consultation with the Jack Squad, uh, we had a discussion. And I googled some things and was informed that, I think I knew this already, that he is of the Islamic faith. Okay, fine. Uh, now, I know some for some in my family, right? But I hadn't seen that. So when I blew the picture up, it looks like it's stripy, but it could be plaid. But it looks stripy to me. Okay. All right. So uh, then as I started investigating the Islamic where it's called an Izar. I hope I'm saying that right. I-Z-A-A-R. I said, okay, okay, okay. So I got to apologize to most deaf because I had put you in the category with them over there. He don't belong in the category of them over there. I had him over there with them. He was one of them, right? He was one of them. And one of my Jack Squad members said, no, no, no. A couple of, matter of fact, quite a few said it could be religious. I'm like, what religion is that? What religion is that? I ain't going to lie to you what I said now. Um... Fact remains, there still is a feminization of, of black men, but most deaf, hopefully, is not in that. It's, he had on the skirt due to his religion. Now, let me just say this. Okay, it was religious purposes, let's just say. My mind and my eyes can't, don't, that don't go to, it don't go together in my head, right? That's me. That's on me. I got some growth to do, some growing to do. But that don't, uh, like, you know, I got uh, Islamic friends and family members and all that. And they wear the long shirt that look like a dress and all that, all that, all that, right? It's just the pleated skirt threw me. That threw me. I, I'm not going to tell y'all no lie. That threw me, right? Um, again, uh, he is given the pass that he deserves because uh, he did that uh, due to his faith. Okay. But I'm going to need you to give me a warning or something like, uh, put a caption up. You know, I don't know who took that picture, right? And then he had on the uh, Herman the Monster boots. All that threw me off. The whole, give me a warning. Slow walk me, right? Slow walk me. Let me know what's happening. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying, right? Uh, you know, because me and some of my Jack Squad members, was, uh, was, we, was, we was taken aback. We was taken aback, right? Okay. And when we did some digging and investigating and realized that it is part of his Islamic faith. Hopefully, that's what it's about, because I read up on it. I read up on it, right? We read it out loud together. So, that's what it is. But, um, regardless of that, I'm still saying that there is feminization of black men. Most definitely not one of them. He ain't one of them. But it is so many of them that are. And, again, the androgynous agenda is being pushed forward by the fashion industry via entertainment. Okay? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, right? Uh, that's what I'm saying. And I am not, I said this on my live earlier, I am not gay bashing. If you gay, you gay. Come all the way on out the closet. I ain't got a problem with gay folks, right? I need me a gay best friend, a male gay best friend, right? But the, what I have a problem, what I do have a problem with is the, the ones in the closet no, yeah, they in the closet, but they acting like they ain't, you know, like they not a part of the of the community, right? Them and still trying to date women. That's a whole other subject. That's who I got a problem with. But just yourself being gay, hey, be gay, get down. 
get down how you live. Uh, but I do have a problem with uh, dressing men as women. I, I want to see masculine men. God damn it. I want to see masculine men. Uh, that's all I'm saying. That's what we enjoy seeing. That's what the ladies like. We like that. We like that. Because I thought, okay, I said, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, Jesus, baby Jesus, and everybody in heaven, Moses, David, everybody. Is this getting ready to be some sort of trend that's going to further push us back? Because, you know, I can get on my Dr. Umar and uh, say it's a conspiracy that they're attacking our man. Right? It's a conspiracy to weaken us as a society. Now, okay? So, again, I'm apologizing to most deaf because I had him as one of them. I did. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all seen it. I had him as one of them. I, I, you know, shit. Uh -huh. Listen. But when I'm wrong, I'm wrong. When I'm right, I'm right. Right? Uh, and so, just like I can say when somebody else is wrong, I can say when I'm wrong. And I think I was wrong on this one, right? With most deaf. Don't get beside yourself. I ain't talking about all the other thousands that's wearing dresses and skirts and shoes and shit. I ain't talking about that. Just talking about most death. That's all I'm talking about, most death. Because I've seen a few industry people with a skirt on, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they was paid by a designer or something like that. But at some point, you got to hold your gonads and say no. You got to hold your gonads and say no. I, I'm going to keep my dignity. See, we can't let them trick us out of our dignity, y'all. And that's what's happening. That's the bigger picture. We cannot let them trick us out of our dignity, Okay. Because once they attack the man, the man is the head. I know it's... I, 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 listen, I'm not one of them so-called modern women. I believe in traditional ways and things that people do. Yes, I'm confident. Yes, I'm a go-getter. Yes, I'm a leader. Yes, I'm an alpha female. But I also believe that uh, a man is much needed and wanted, and he is the head. Period. Right? I can be aggressive, assertive, and take care of my business and still need a man and still want a man. Right? And let him lead if he proper. Right. Um, but uh, I don't want to see, you know, it's a lot going on. It's damn near like y'all, for those of y'all to read the Bible or the Quran or whatever you read, uh, like Sodom and Gomorrah. A lot of Sodom and Gomorrah going on. And since the pandemic, folks have really went bananas. Right. So, like I said, I saw most deficit. Damn, he's one of them. And I know what I'm saying is not going to be popular, but I don't care. I'm speaking what I'm speaking. I'm saying what I'm saying, right? Um, because it need to be said. Like, we can't keep just ignoring it. You know, it's a lot of old, it's a lot of sassy men. Uh, men that want to be in a woman's shoes. Not saying that they're gay. Let me, let, let me, let me, let me break it down for you. When I say that, when I say that, uh, I've talked I have talked to lots of men, as well as my girlfriends, and uh, when we had the Black Women's Caucus, it was noted that a lot of black men do not want to put forth an effort to date or um, court. They just want to smack dab, get into you, right? Um, there's no effort being put. Uh, so, therefore, you are putting yourself in a woman's shoes. You want to be taken out. You want to be pampered, you know. Uh, if you're good to your girl, she's going to do all those things for you anyway, right? They, they seem to don't know that, but you got to start. It starts with the man. It starts with the head. Because if I'm being charged, then I'm, then I'm a masculine woman. I'm taking charge. I'm running over, you know. <sighs> Trust me, y'all. We don't really want to be in that position. We don't. We have to be. We've been forced to be in that position. God damn it, I don't want to be in that position. I want a good man to lead me and got good sense. But you have to have good sense. That is the problem, y'all. So when you see these, we see these old sassy men talking what they talking, the passport bros and all that. And they going to another country. Let me tell y'all something, passport bros. Let me tell y'all something. Them women in other countries don't really want you. And let your money dry up and they'll show you how much they want you. You might as well stay on over here and maybe work with somebody that's going to understand you a little better. Because they don't care nothing about you over there. They don't. Um, but, uh, yeah. And, and, you know, we need to have conversations about this um, masculine versus feminine. Because it's not a versus. A man is stronger, and he's the head. We excel. Women excel in their areas, and men excel in their areas. God made us different. Period. Right? He made a man to provide, and he made a woman to be the helpmate. And somewhere down the line, folks done got it confused. Right? We ain't the head. We've had to be. We, we don't want to be. 
We don't want to be. Ask any woman out there that's struggling. and She might not be struggling, just maintaining for herself, living good, living well. She don't want to do that, not all the time, because that ain't in our nature. We want to be able to sit down and let uh, Charles, Henry, Tommy, somebody take care of us. You know, if that ain't nothing but a foot rub when we get home, a hug, how you doing today, baby? Simple things like that, okay? So don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? We like our men looking like men, period. That's the whole gist of this video. We like our men looking like men. And I'm apologizing the most deaf because I had him as one of them. Okay? That's it. That's it. That's the video. That's it. That's that's my info. That's what I got to say about it. That's my commentary on that. Um, if I uh, offended anybody, sorry, because you know I'm a most deaf fan as well, right? It ain't like I'm not. That's why I was so perturbed, right? Because I'm like, damn, not him. You know what I'm saying? Like, who next? So okay, that's what it was, y'all. Uh, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. New subscribers, thank you for. Uh, Subscribing to Jackie with a Q. Um, and I go live at 8 o'clock at noon every single day. Noon and 8. And I have memberships available. I got t-shirts available. You know, we all love over here, right? But I just had to get that off my chest. Because, you know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I'm going to say that I'm wrong. If I can say what I want to say for everybody to see, I can say what it is. Or apologize. Or right my wrong for everybody to see. Like, I ain't one of them people that throw the rock and have my hand, say some shit, then step back and don't, you know, speak. I speak up on it, right? I speak up on it. So, anyway, y'all, uh, don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching Jackie with a Q. Now, ain't that something? See, listen, it's always something, right? I need a team of people. Y'all help me.